This morning, we're taking a look back at a tragedy that changed the Las Vegas Strip forever. It is this, the devastating fire 40 years ago this weekend at the MGM Grand, which we now know as Bally's. Hector Mejia is live this morning along the Las Vegas Strip to explain how that tragedy helped safe, shape national safety standards. Hector, good morning. Good morning, John. And strip hotels are now built as some of the safest in the entire world. The fire from 1980 led to new safety requirements. And Bally's right behind me used to be the site of the original MGM Grand. Here's a look back in time. 1980, as a witness, describes the chaos. People are waiting to be instructed. The ones that are hanging out there, the windows are waiting. I don't know how many are in the halls. An electric fire started in the deli downstairs and then burst in a fireball through the casino. Toxic black smoke went through the hotel tower while many slept in the rooms. 87 people died and more than seven others were hurt. An automatic fire alarm system was not in place. UNLV gaming historian David Short says it's a tragedy that in the end helped change fire safety, it led to not only a safer Las Vegas, but also a safer nation, although it was at a tremendous cost. High-rise construction was still relatively new, at least in the resort area, especially in Nevada. You know, you just didn't have the idea. And also, if you look at it, other parts of the country didn't have 3,000-room hotels, so you wouldn't have these issues. They would be much smaller. So I think that was one of the reasons why the regulations lag. Half a year after the fire, and he adds, this fire, along with the intentionally set fire at the Hilton months later, led to sweeping changes in fire safety codes, mandating sprinklers in all areas, and the fire at the MGM Grand from 1980 is in the history books as one of the worst high-rise disasters in U.S. history. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now. All right, Hector, thank you very much, and we'll have more of the a look back at this historical event coming up over the weekend as well here on 8 News Now. Alex.